Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a short video on how ray tracing is a much bigger deal for Witcher 3 than everything else that we're getting with the Witcher 3 next gen update. As you already know, with the next gen update, we are getting substantial improvement in graphics. We are also getting a new quest and a new look or skin for some of the main characters in the game. But I believe those are not going to be as exciting as ray tracing for this game. In my opinion, ray tracing is what going to make everyone play this game once again. Because there are so many places that will look much more better with ray tracing turned on. If the ray tracing is as good as it is in Cyberpunk. The Witcher 3 is already very beautiful. It is like a piece of art. Every frame, everywhere we turn is already very beautiful. The graphics holds very well for a game that is 7 years old. And thanks to modders, players have a lot of way to make changes to the game and keep playing this game over and over again without getting bored whatsoever. The Witcher 3 already looks great at daytime and absolutely comes to life at night. Starting with Kaer Morhen to Bokler Palace in Tusa, this game looks very incredible. I think with ray tracing enabled, all these places should look much more interesting and will definitely require another playthrough by every player to experience this game in a different way. Some of the places that you should definitely check out once the next gen update is released are starting with the Unseen Elder Cave which looks very beautiful. Then we have the Cave of Dreams. Again, looks very nice. With that shorter slope. See them at sea every few press. I with those they got wings. These here. It's as if they're swimming through the air. It's three years old. I've shown a hundred times since then that I... You pissed yourself before the whole village. We also have this underground tree in Unwick, which looks very beautiful. There is also the Temple of Eternal Fire, which looks better at night than day. Finally, we have the whole of Tusa, which itself is like a piece of art. There are definitely a lot more places that I would like to revisit once the next gen update is out. I believe players with the 4K monitor, HDR monitor will appreciate the update more than others as I'm sure the game will look great with HDR turned on. Let me know in the comments if you're also looking forward to play this game with ray tracing on or do you think I'm just making it as a big deal and it will not be that great. Please do subscribe uh, to my channel for more videos on Witcher 3 and other games that I play. Thanks again for spending time with me today. Always stay safe and uh, be well my friends.